Super Nintendo World made over $280 million in its first year in just ticket sales. And it's not the only theme park that's made hundreds of millions of dollars. So today's my chance to recreate the way too busy, not worth the hype. Wait a minute. Sorry, that's the wrong review. The super, super awesome, amazing experience that these theme parks give their customers. Let's begin the process. Guys, this is where the entrance to our giant new theme park is going to go. I'm making the doorway. I feel like we want to outline it with this like lighter color stone. I feel like maybe the floor though should be out of this stone brick here. So this will be like a grand stone brick entrance. Let's go in like a little dramatic bridge or something, you know? Does this look tall enough, Zach? You're down there. That's good. That's good. That's very nice. Then we take it too wide on this side with these bricks, kind of like this, and then too wide on that side with the bricks. I see what you're doing. Now, the issue we're running into, Zach, there seems to be a mountain on the left side, and we're not going to be able to go through that. Well, you only work on the facade. You start digging, because we're going to need, obviously, some digging one way or another. Parkour. All right, good luck. I'm going to work on this. This has to be a grand entrance, because in order to compete with the most expensive players, I've learned my carrot farm is not going to be able to hold up to the billionaires. Let me clean out the inside a little bit more. So that's all going to go all the way up to the top. I don't know why we're building this over water, by the way, and why we're not centering it, because that means we pretty much got to demolish an entire wall, and Isaac's not going to be happy about what's about to happen. <laughs> hey, buddy, I'm going to help you out, because this is pretty awful. Yeah, that's what I need, dude. I don't have the pickaxe. Hey, wait, how much money do you have? Why don't you invest in a better whoa, pickaxe? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, no. You're breaking into my base. Look how quick this thing breaks, bro. You got to get an efficiency of my pickaxe. Aren't you rich? I only have 850,000, dude. What happened all your money? I thought you had like millions. I spent 4 million on a fishing rod, and it's just not a good investment. Sell it. Look at this thing, Zach. You're telling me you'd rather have a pickaxe than this thing? $4 million. It doesn't even work. Let me just cast this once really quick and see before we move on. Do you guys know how many base flips that is? Like, this to me is painful. Watch you when you catch an amazing item right here. 100%. I'm going to fish a cod up on this thing. You spent $4 million for a cod catcher. Here we go. Here we go. A cod! He got a cod, okay. Look, you got scammed. You gotta get a better pickaxe, though. That whole wall's gotta go. Lend me yours. I can't. All right, so now we're gonna take it up one here. Get rid of these two. It, it's just the, the off-centeredness of it. Like, there's some really serious problems here we're facing. I don't have a solution yet. The good news is, that is as wide as it goes. So, that is about the end of it. And you can see by looking at it, it's got, like, this nice castle shape. Now, let's copy it over here, and it should be, like, ten times easier and quicker, because, guess what, baby? Mm. Y'all don't gotta dig through a wall. You guys remember that episode where I made a pirate chest? Someone told me in my comments, that Isaac actually buried treasure in here or something. So I'm going to check this out. Oh, bro, he did. Isaac, you buried treasure in my ex. Oh, you found it. Bro. That was like three weeks ago. That's amazing. So this is about the width of it. So pretty much this is the frontal facade here. Zach, I'm just going to say it right now. I don't have the equipment to dig out this hillside. We're going to have to get some explosives in here. <laughs> I've got him. Dude, the creeper spawner is not happening in this episode. It might. It might. Listen, we have to upgrade our shop. It's 1.5 million. If you give me all your money, I could upgrade it. And then all we need, well, no. Yeah, that's going to be 3.8 million to buy the spawner still. I'll tell you what, Zach. This fishing rod's worth that much. Dude, wait a minute. If you sell the rod and give me your money, I could upgrade my shop and then get it. I'm going to put up the fishing rod for 4 million. All right, you work on that. I'm going to work on more of the facade. Good luck. Back here, guys, inside of the wooden chest room, I have got some jungle trappies. These are what I'm going to use on the front of it because I want to give it a little bit of a cartoonish vibe here. It's not not quite tall enough yet. There's a minor inconvenience here. One more layer here. Boy, if you don't get Yo, do you sell it? I have not sold the fishing rod yet, but you can just go to the shop and buy 64 for 5,000. We'll go ahead and get that up. Make sure your claims are set so the explosions go off. I'm going to keep working on this. That's a great idea. So I want to try two roofs. One's going to be a red roof. It's going to extend out more like a Mario theme, just like this. And then one's going to be netherrack. And I want to see which one feels better. So I think all I really have to do is kind of like follow the facade like this to get what the, the vibe I'm looking for. All right. So there is this roof here. Very red, very vibrant, very fun. And then if I come over and do a brick roof on the other side, my concern is the brick next to the brick is going to look just a little bit too harsh. Isaac, would you come tell me which one of these you think looks a little more fun, a little more inviting? The concrete looks a lot more inviting. Yeah, I'm going to get that going then. Let's get the rest of this roof rocking and rolling here, folks. There's a very high chance that I have done something incorrect here. I don't know what, but I feel like I have. Hey, it doesn't look like anything yet. This is just a giant front wall. Let's move on to the next part. I got to buy a lot of red concrete. Very expensive. Yo. You lost power? Oh, no. All right, bye. Guys, we have an absolute disaster. My brother's power just went out. My TNT bomber is gone, which means now I've got double the work and I've got to do it while he's gone. This is not what I wanted to hear today. And I don't have anyone to tell me my build sucks, so let's take a look at it. Hey, oh, that sucks. Wow. Whew. All right, well, let's go ahead and get building. All right, guys, we've got the two pillars made on the corners. You can kind of see the castle shape. Obviously, the center is unbelievably ugly right now. I'm going to push the wall back, though, while I'm here, because I feel like that's really all it needs. The wall is just a little bit too far forward. Maybe it's a little easy fix, and I don't have to go and remake the entire entrance 15 times. Uh, it definitely looks better. Let's start pushing back the rest of it to get this show on the road, folks. Those come up. That looks nice. Creates a great shape. It looks decent, and then I can kind of go through here and rapidly clean up all of this. Turn this into kind of like a little bit of a cleaner waiting area out front, or even like a little drawbridge that looks a little better. Let's just buy ourselves a little bit of stone. Um, 
Unfortunately, Isaac's bridge now serves a very odd purpose. It's kind of like unusable at this point. But like my idea was this is where we could like allow players to begin. Let's work on making this entrance a little bit more fun, inviting and friendly because it feels awful right now. Isaac is back with power today and it's time to blow up the mountain. Here we go. We're going to blow up the mountain in three, two, one, boom. Oh, there we go. Oh, it did wreck my entire castle. You're going to rebuild that, buddy. <laughs> Listen, dude, that was a pretty good explosion. I mean, that mountain is basically flattened. Oh my God, you are. Listen, Zach. Absolutely screwed. Good luck. While he works on doing that, I am going to work on building what is going to become a secret shop. So this is going to be just like a little simple, like one of those like little like uh, pots you see in Minecraft you know, or in a, in a Mario, you know what I'm saying? Like... Mario bounces in Mario games. And so like if I created some sort of like little bouncer here, they bounce on up and get up there or some, something. You know what I mean? Like I need some way to get up there and I don't know what that is. So let's go ahead and build the secret shop though on the inside. All right, guys, I am extremely confused on how he built this thing, um, but it's going to have unique character and that's what matters, right? Okay, I think if I place these three blocks, we have successfully replicated his side of the build. The only thing that looks a little bit off is I don't have the flag up top. Other than that, I think we have successfully replaced repair the damage that we did. We do need a couple sticks from the old stick chest and these need to all turn into ladders though because I'd like to make ladders on the inside so you can easily climb out once you fall in. Bro, this right here is what's gonna make the money. Look how cool this is, dude. You're now able to walk into this, go under the water, which is not something a lot of people would actually expect to be down here. And then all I need to do is turn this into like a really cool themed room. That would actually be kind of sick to turn into glass. Like you could like see out of it and this becomes part of the theme. So I wanna put some glass in there. I just got that idea really quick. Roof wise, I wanna keep it dirt. So when you look down, you don't expect anything suspicious. So we're gonna take the whole ground layer down an entire notch here with a very basic pickaxe because what I got right now. And to me, it's got to have some sort of very premium dark wood, huh? A little dark down here. This is weird. It's very weird because the glass here needs to change. So now we have a very cool window to look out of from underground that's borderline invisible from the top. And all I need to do is set this up to have some set up chest shops. And these chops, it just has to be like very fun themed items players would want. Now I could use these and it make it actually feel like you're inside of a Mario castle. So we can maybe seal that roof off just a little bit better. A little bit of roof texture on there and the back wall now. All right, so now we have, I think something that's like actually really spectacular and cool looking because you really would not realize by the look of it that there's actually a secret shop down here. Now we get to get into the fun part. We can create a shop there and one there. It doesn't have to be even. All you really have to do is place down a shop and add a sign on that shop and type chest shop. I feel like this will be a fun area to go make a bunch of new banners and actually sell the banners in the shop because they're rare. They sell for, I think about two to three K each. So we have this absolutely stock with banners. We'll right click to set our selling price of 2,500 per banner. And then here, we're gonna do these for 2,500 per banner. And now when someone comes to the store, they can buy these banners. One of the things Disney does to like ensure that you feel super immersed is they create unbelievable levels of detail inside of their homes. I need to get some end rods and I need to get some mushrooms of which I have neither. However, I do have these. And I think, won't you use these for end rods? Popped chorus fruit and a blaze rod. And I actually happen to have both of those. Isn't that just my lucky day? I'm gonna grab some bone meal. I'm gonna buy a stack of red mushrooms. I'm gonna see if I can grow these downstairs inside of old industrial. Avenue. I've never grown one of these, so I really don't know. Oh, it does work. Okay, well, that's nice. I'm just getting more mushrooms. I need the actual mushroom blocks here. Which means I need silk touch, which I don't have. Uh, oh, silk touch, $10,000. All right, now we have much better pickaxe. There we go. This will give us a fantastic level of detail we're gonna be able to place inside of our little theme park. Cause like, for example, this bridge to me, it looks mid. But if we created a little bit of mushroom action in here, I think it looks good. I think this is like a much more enjoyable way to have lights, all right? You gotta have mushrooms. The first thing I'm noticing, Zach, this wood floor has gotta be torn out. What are we turn it into? More rainbow? What we're gonna want, Zach, is a map, but we need more stuff built before we put the map down, but we could put the map board. I think that's a really good idea. So we're gonna go to our chest shop. We have red, orange, yellow, Green, blue, purple. Where's orange? All right, got the orange carpet. Let's go ahead and get back there, folks. It is coming together nicely. I mean, to have an actual castle in front, a little bit confusing, uh, but that's okay. Purple, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Red, this is gonna be an issue. It's not gonna match up. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get this thing out in time, man. With all the mistakes we're making, Isaac blowing up the base, me freaking making all the carpet backwards. I literally don't know if we're gonna be able to even get this open to make profit, which is such a big concern. We're gonna be like down money for weeks now if we can't get this thing to start pumping out some cash. Now, this is cool because you actually get your super sprint, but once you reach the middle, it slows you down. I like it. You need to get me some wider carpet in here, I think. Can you just extend this out a little? I could do that. You could, yeah. That looks great. That really does. It pulls you right in. It feels more rainbowy now that it's got some curve in it. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere here. This looks 
looks really nice to me, I think. That was a great idea by him. All right, this is great teamwork right now. Me and Loverfella are just flowing right now. We are banging out this build as fast as possible, and it is looking great. I mean, it just makes me happy walking through here now. And you know what? I feel like I might as well just push this wall in a little bit. Wow, that's nice. I Now I'm going to work on adding uh, some public areas. Like, I want this to be, like, super usable, so I would like to have a crafting table somewhere these guys can use. Then I wanted to create a couple of benches. We'll bring this down, and then right on it, we'll build those giant lamps that we had, and it'll be right next to the bench, and you'll have, like, a little private mushroom lamp to bring you together. There we go! All right, we have done a lot of great work on the base today, but it is time for Isaac to build a roller coaster, and I'm thinking we're going to put the entrance to it right here, and it's going to go up the mountainside. First things first, when building a roller coaster, you have got to get a line system. I am going to build a line that is going to force people to basically single file into the minecart so that we don't get a lot of people jumping and skipping the line. I really think I should give this some sort of a name. Lovers Firework Factory. Secret button inside. So now I'm going to pull them in again, like I said, for the secret button as they push this button, guys. Y'all know what they do. They harvest my sugar cane for me and it comes back down into my secret area. We've got our secret shop there. We've got Isaac's game there. And um, I think it'd be interesting then if we add another here and it's like a little surprise. Let's see if you guys can guess what I'm about to make here today. With the power of very cheap slime and some carpet right across from Isaac's queue here, I will make a path. There we go. Guys, this is, uh, if you didn't guess it, is a trampoline. I'm gonna cover this up with a bunch of black carpet so it has like a regular trampoline look to it. Then I think on the edge, I'm going to do a layer of like a blue concrete because I think a lot of trampolines have like a little blue thing around them. There we go, just like that, just like that, and go all the way around this. I think we're gonna have to go all the way around the corner though, like this, make it a little thicker. All right, guys, I just built the starting point for the roller coaster. It's going to start off by throwing you right up the mountainside here. We have a lot of minecart track to place, and luckily I made a bunch of it in this chest, so. All right, I don't know if we have enough powered rail, so we might have to go find some more gold or something. Well, I really thought I had some iron bars somewhere. Oh, I got 38 of them, dude. I knew it. I literally knew it. I'm actually absolutely loaded with iron bars. I always got these suckers. I'm just saying, if other players are only selling items, but they can play some games here, bounce on a trampoline, whatever, like, I feel like we're gonna do a little better. Let's call this, uh, let's call, let's, let's give it, like, a theme. It's gotta have a cool name. The Crazy Killer Trampoline, ages 10 and up only. You go up, you get some bounces in. Here we go. We're bringing up the roller coaster track, and we're all the way up on the mountainside now and it actually looks pretty incredible. I'm almost thinking about making this a small roller coaster and then making a bigger one later because we kind of want the kiddie rides at the front and you always have to have a small roller coaster for people that are afraid. What I'm going to do is actually open this up. I feel like some guards would go a long way here. So how do I make an armor stand? Sticks in a slab? Bro, it's so easy. Are you serious? I feel like to the side of it, like a little ticket man. We'll dress him up, make him look really good. Look at that. We'll have Mario back here. He'll say, yippee. Please enjoy your stay. And then on this side, I don't really know what I would put here, but with more armor stands, I could kind of like prepare by putting like more little details around the entire area. Like this could be like really fun to knock out. Isaac, look how sick that is. The entire roller coaster. I didn't realize how big that got. Yeah, how's it look up on the hillside? I thought I tried to make it like framed on the hill. Bro, that's sick looking actually. Keep the sheep in there. He's gonna be our test pilot. Oh. But what else can we sell? We need to like start getting some better sales here. We have like my shop, your shop, and the secret one, and that's it. We can do skill-based games. I feel like the simplest way to do it is to add like some arrows and allow them to like shoot some targets. I could maybe extend this out. You could stand here with your arrows and then like right next to it, there would be a chest shop. We'll fill this thing up with a couple arrows which we'll do 80 per arrow. And then we can get some target blocks. They could hit these and then it just needs to power something that gives off like some victory condition. Bam, 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 bam. And then we'll do one here that's like super, super, super. Unfortunately, we're out of redstone lamps, so I'm going to have to get another one there at some point. But you got this very interesting area where you can shoot and play a little mini game. Ready to test the roller coaster? Oh, I'm ready to test it. Let's take a look at it. How are we going to get him in here? Do we need some wheat to draw him in or something? I got some wheat on me. Yep, get him on the track. Then I can just push the mine cart into him. Pop her on. We're ready. Very smart. We're ready. Is he in? Not yet. What, what is he? Like, he's immune to the cart? Why don't we just test with us? You know what? Here he goes. All right. The, oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Oh, this is good. Look at this, dude. Up the hill side. Bro, this is gorgeous. Woo! Takes you down. Nice light coast all the way to the bottom. Wow, that's incredible. And then it should just perfectly stop you at the end. It does. It does. Yep. And then here's your exit. That's awesome. Really though, I think the most important thing right now is we need to just clean it up. I feel like we need to get a better wall system along. Zach, what do you think? Let's see. That doesn't look too bad to me. Maybe we just keep this coming. Why don't I work on this and you get the concrete place placed below it. Ladies and gentlemen, back to the stone cutter. You know what time it is. Time to get this wall looking good. Ah, the bench is weird there. I'm not sure how I'd fix that. I would say this also opens up an opportunity 
opportunity to be something like little entrance right here. And then honestly, if we wanted to, we could take this straight. This is actually not only that, but it's actually a walkway into some other future build back here. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like it should be fun. It should be like a little fun vibe. You come in. What is this? Oh, dude, that's my other race. It's an entrance in the back way. Now you can have like a second entrance in and we can turn this to blue and the blue matches your base. Perfect. Now you've got a little secret way in there. Look at that. Oh yeah, that's a secret entrance. One hour later. So guys, we did some upgrading on the shop on the front here. I made it more of like a mushroom vibe to feel more like you're inside of a kingdom. And Isaac has some great news to share. Isaac, let it rip. We sold the pomegranate rod, baby. Send me a million right now. What I'm going to do, guys, is upgrade my shop level, which allows me in six hours to buy a creeper spawner, which we'll then be able to put up here. And our shop should be ready for launch day. So... It is day three on the Mega Mall project. And guys, my barber did me dirty. I feel like I look like absolutely disgusting right now. But I came up with a couple interesting ideas. One of them is, what if I move this over to our brand new theme park area and allow players who come to the theme park to also grind skeletons and turn it into the most ultimate mall in the entire world? And while I do this, my brother Isaac is actually going to add his own spawner. He's going to make zombie spawners. I got some bad news though. Yesterday, Isaac sold his fishing rod for $3 million. And I thought that's all I needed to upgrade my shop to be a high enough level so that I could buy my creeper spawner. Well, guys, it turns Turns out we need a full another shop level. And if I look, that means I've got to make $4.5 million to upgrade it. This is the only way to actually get to a point where I could even buy it. That said, let's get into our chest shop, clean up all the items in our inventory, get all the supplies we need and build what may be the most beautiful spawning device you've seen in your entire life. All right, guys, I'm broke now. Uh, I bought $100,000 worth of concrete. I know it was stupid because I could have bought regular and then just poured water on it and made it actual concrete, but I didn't because I'm a lazy piece of crap. All right, Zach, I have the red concrete, so I'm going to get extending this and you can start building the mushrooms. That's right, guys. We're building two giant mushroom spawners. By the way, I'm going to tell you how high you want to make it. Oh, yeah, I have no idea. Go up four blocks and then begin building it. So it's not going to be very tall. Okay, we might want to go a little taller just for aesthetic reasons. Uh, Technically, the path should only be, I guess, one wide. And then the entrance should be one. So it'd be like this, something like that. And it'll be in the center of this. You see what I'm saying? Like in the middle here. But then how big is the top part of the mushroom so that mine's not? We'll figure it out. Just copy me. That's one. So that's as far up as you want to go. I'm going to go get dimensions real quick, Isaac. I got to see what my other one was because I had it perfect, all right? That's a good plan. So it's four plus the wall, which makes it five. So it's going to be one, two, three, four. And then you're going to have your wall here at the edge. Oh, I cut this one pretty dang close on that to the old trampoline. This is actually kind of cool. I've never seen a giant mushroom themed theme park build for this. Like we put so much into making this come out nice. All right. So this should be the basic shape for the mushroom. And then uh, in order to make the top, I guess we're going to do like all one color and then add some white dots in it. Is that some of the most reasonable? I think so. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and go around the edge here then. Man, that thing is not looking like a mushroom, Zach. That's all I'm saying from my view. It will. It's just going to be a very short, fat mushroom. Mushrooms aren't even that tall anyway, so it should come together looking really good, I think. I want to do a miniature infinite water source here so I can get all the corners. I don't know what I just did there. Let's go. Water. Water. Hopefully, I did this perfectly, and this actually all leads exactly where I want it to, and it seems like I did, folks. It seems like I did, and I'll take that out, and I will then break this. And it's perfect. Hey, look at that, dude. Absolutely flawless. Did I screw it up again? Brother has no idea what he's doing. Crap, so I have to take off the outer layer of the entire thing? That's correct. Also, could you spot me some money? I cannot afford any more green concrete. I'll tell you what, Zach. If you if you fix my mistake, I will pay you. Deal, go. All right, you give me a bunch of green concrete. It's going to be quite a bit. How much do you need? I would say at least four stacks minimum. Dude, it's 27 grand a stack. I know. It's expensive. Gosh, you know what, though? It's an investment in the property. I just dropped some money, dude. I'm balling. Oh, oh. All right. All right. So guys, we're going to put a couple of white concrete dots around the edge here. This is going to represent a mushroom sort of vibe. I, don't, I just kind of do it randomly. Then we're going to take it up. And uh, I don't know. I mean, I guess we could just keep it a square mushroom. I think it's going to come out looking okay. That is the roof right there. So we definitely have to do at least two more layers on this to get this sucker uh, cleaned up here. I think this is our final design because we tried small dots, big dots, different colors, different layers. So now my skeletons will fall down. What we're going to do is move our hopper over and uh, our entire chest system and the other hopper and basically put this below it. And this should allow us to, oh, that's unbelievable amounts of crap I got to sell. We have to spend our money because unlike Loverfella, we don't actually have any spawners that we can put in here. So I'm going to have to go buy them. And the zombie spawners are only $38,000 each. So let's go ahead and buy 16 of these. And I think we'll be able to get them down. Oh, we need to do now is take our hopper, place it right here, and make sure that leads into one of these chests uh, right here. And our chest will go here. So that goes there. So now these should fall in and that should be ready to go. And then all we have to do is clean up the 
bottom portion of this by leading this to a, another hopper. Finally, a little sealer up. Now, if this place gets busy, I would think more access points would be beneficial. And so I think if I surround the bottom like this, it'll allow players to walk around while also highlighting the mushroom. And then I can actually allow them to punch the skeleton from more angles, potentially. So I think this should be fully operational now. And as you can see, all of the zombies are slowly funneling right down here. And there's already 88 zombies here. Now we have the zombies. Let's just do a little test kill to see what happens when you kill over a hundred zombies what did, what even is that what just dropped oh my gosh what am i getting yes sir look what just dropped out of my hundred zombies i killed what even are these items what is this a blood crystal and a zombie hand dude there's also a heart in there it looks like they don't do anything. They're cosmetic. You could literally deck that thing out with those and let people know. These look really good, Isaac. I'm not going to lie. These are the best looking mob spawners I've ever seen in my entire life. So yeah, I'll get these walls extended out. And uh, I think these will just look nice and frame it pretty well. This looks great. You've got a great little walkway in here. And then uh, we could even extend it around our area. Around your mushroom, it really just seals it. And makes it feel like super safe to me. Super premium. See that? That nice root. That, that looks great to me. Look at that. My skeleton thing is now there. And it's got the arrow and the bone displaying what items get dropped. So people know exactly what they will get here. Before we invite players here, guys, we're going to make this pipe pop up there because it'd be kind of funny. So right here, a little secret entrance here. Oh my gosh, that shovel, dude. You like it? That's efficiency five. And look at this pickaxe. All right, let me tag in. I got I got super breaker coming. Go, go, go. It's I feel like it's as fast as your normal pickaxe though. Jeez. I am trying to meet Isaac. I believe right here roughly is the exact spot. So I'm just going to come straight now and see what we get. Yep. Come down, Zach. You're going to hit the hole right now. Boom. We did it. Okay. So now this lines, we need to get some sort of a ladder there. And then we should make another pipe though up here. I, I literally cannot afford it though. I only have 15,000. I can't afford the green. Okay, I bought 64. That, I mean, gosh, that hurts me. But what do we do now? How do we build the pipe? Just like a little square with a hole in the middle and then go around an edge. Pretty simple. All right, I have successfully built the new green pipe and it looks amazing, I think. Zach, how's it look down there? Walking around and... Oh, it's hidden. It's hidden. I like that. That's very nice. Yeah. Oh, wait, we need our maps. Oh, you're gonna... Yeah, you have to go do that. No, no, no. This side's gonna be signs. We only need two maps. This will be signs. Welcome to the world's first Minecraft theme park. Listen, Zach, I was envisioning a giant map, but apparently everything we built can fit on a single map. Well, it leaves room for improvement. That's... Whoa, that's gonna... Oh, that, wow. And half of it is just our base. Okay, so that is... Maps are bigger than I thought. I mean, you can see our mushrooms pretty clearly. Look at that. You can even see we did the top colors. That's kind of cool. You can see the roller coaster. All right, well, Zach, it looks like we're just having a single map right here in the middle. Marking points. In Java Edition, a player has the ability to mark spots on the map. And if the banner has a name, the mark shows that name. Isaac, do you hear what I'm hearing? You're the banner, man. Go go name some banners. All I have to do is nickname the banners, and I think this would actually give us some serious results. We have mob spawners, shops, roller coaster, mini games. Put it right in here. Bam, you don't even see it on that white thing. Did it do anything? Oh, it does. Wow. This is mind blowing. We could really color code these. This is actually a feature in the game. What the heck? That's so cool. It's time to officially open our theme park and our very first customers are just arriving to our theme park. Now, keep in mind, we've done all that we could to ensure these guys won't give us an unfair advantage. All items are priced below average. We won't accept anything free and they're not even allowed to drop items in this area. Grand opening. Lots of that's wild. What is the crap is this man's a dancing panda? Isaac, like, you see this? I'm going to encourage them to rate it five stars if they enjoyed it. Dude, I got to have somebody ride the roller coaster. Oh, Panda's going for the roller coaster. How did this guy get a never gonna give you up thing? I mean, I don't even know what half this stuff is, bro. There's so many flex. There's so many rich players here. It's hard to imagine. Now, they are sending those things off, dude. That was such a dumb idea to put that off in the door. But it's a grand celebration for the grand opening. Look at this. It's incredible. Yeah, they're harvesting our mobs for us. And what's even crazier is, I'll bet you guys anything, they pushed this button already. Look at that. They're just spammed pushing it. Is it working? Let me see. Is the piston targeted? It is, bro. It's working. We have an automated farm now in order to get these items, these players are going to hit. And we can set this up with a lot of things, not just this. Oh, we got our first member in the secret club. He found the pipe. Look at this guy. Oh! Oh, let's go. We got our first pipe member. Bro, look at that. They're looking at it. I think they like it, dude. Bro, this is so fun. Look at that. I can't believe it. Hey, we just uh, sold a couple more firework rockets. If you guys look to the right, actually, you can watch my money as it goes up and we sell stuff, which I didn't even realize, but that's how we're making money here. People are buying rockets or buying fireworks. They're a better deal than anywhere else, and that's how we're making money. We're selling some paper. We sold out of uh, firework banners, and then over here, we do have some rockets for sale. The rocket shop's not doing bad, bro. It's actually making some freaking money. Road to the creeper spawner, baby. We're getting a creeper spawner. This is the only place in the server they can get it right now and i have the market and if you guys enjoyed this video i can't wait to show you next week's trade up you're gonna love it click here to subscribe peace